Welcome back. In the last video, we reviewed some slope information where we talked about slopes can be positive, negative, zero, or undefined. And when you graph a positive slope, it's uphill. Negative is downhill. A zero slope is horizontal. And an undefined or no slope is vertical. Remember, we do not call a zero slope a no slope. A no slope is undefined. And then we practiced finding slope given some coordinate values. Okay, so what we're going to do today is compare two slopes and see how they relate to each other. Okay, if you have two lines and they're parallel, so think about what parallel lines are, right? They go in the same direction. They never are going to intersect each other. Okay, parallel lines will have equal slopes because they're going to rise and run at the same rate. Okay, when you see parallel lines drawn for you in a picture in geometry, just like congruent segments have tick marks and congruent angles have arc marks, for parallel lines, a lot of times you'll see little triangles on them, and that's saying these two lines run in the same direction. Okay, so if you ever see little lines like little triangles like that, or little arrows in the middle of a line like that, that's just telling you that those two lines are parallel. Okay, next we have perpendicular lines. Remember, perpendicular lines are two lines that when they intersect, they intersect at a 90 degree angle. And the note, the picture you'll, or what you'll see in a drawing is the little right angle, right? Our perpendicular lines will have opposite and reciprocal slopes. So remember, your opposite is referring to the sign. One's going to be positive, uphill, and the other will be negative, downhill, okay? They'll also have reciprocal slopes, which means we're going to flip over that fraction for the slope. Okay, so it has to be both of those. It can't just be opposite. It can't be just be flipped. It has to both be opposite and it has to be flipped. Okay, and we have a new vocabulary word for this lesson. It's called oblique. Oblique lines intersect, but not at a 90 degree angle. They have neither equal or opposite reciprocal slopes. So oblique lines are what we usually see a lot in geometry, okay? For oblique lines, you're gonna have your congruent angles that are vertical, and one set will be acute, and the other set would be obtuse. They can't both, they can't all be 90, because that would be perpendicular. And they do intersect, unlike parallel. Okay, so that's the three relationships you can have of lines that are on the same flat surface. There's one other relationship we'll talk about in the future called skew lines, but they exist on different planes, okay? All right, so our activity for today is we're going to find the slope of the lines that contain the given points. Then we're going to determine are those lines parallel, perpendicular, or oblique, okay? So first thing I'm going to do is label my points x1, y1 and x2, y2. So then my slope of line one, what sometimes I'll do so I'll know it's line one is I'll put a little m and then a little one next to it for slope of line one. Make my fraction. Start with my second y, five minus, and then my other y, negative one. I know I already have a minus, but I have to put the negative one, so I remember to add there. And then my second x, negative five, minus 10. This is really plus, right? Five plus one is six over negative five minus 10 is negative 15. The negative floats out front, six over 15. Those are both divisible by three. Three goes into six two times, three goes into 15 five times. So negative two fifths is my first slope. Let's go see what the second slope is, okay? So I'm gonna do the same thing for line two, x1, y1, x2, y2. My slope for line two, start with my second y value, negative eight, minus seven. Then go to my x's, negative four minus two. Negative eight minus seven is negative 15. Negative four minus two is negative four and two, that's six. 
Negative over negative cancels to a positive. 15 over 6, they're both divisible by 3. My 15 is going to be a 5. 15 divided by 3. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So my slope here is 5 halves. Remember, we do not change it into a mixed number. We want to leave it where we can see the rise and we can see the run. Okay? All right. So now I want to test, is are they parallel? Are they the same slope? Parallel lines have equal slopes. Well, negative 2 fifths and 5 halves, those are not equal. So it's not parallel. Are they perpendicular? Are they both opposite and flipped over? So opposite signs, one's positive, one's negative. Yes, I have a positive and I have a negative. And then are they flipped over? I've got 2 over 5 and 5 over 2. Yes, they are flipped over. So they're both opposite and they're reciprocals. So this is perpendicular. If you don't want to write out the word perpendicular, you could always just put the upside down T. Remember, that means perpendicular. Let's look at example two. For example two, I'm going to do the exact same process. I'm going to label my first points, my first set of points, x1, y1, x2, y2. Slope of line one. Start with the second y, negative six, minus one. Then my x is five minus three. Negative 6 minus 1 is a negative 7. 5 minus 3 is 2. So negative 7 over 2. I don't have to rewrite that because that doesn't reduce, and my negative's in the top, which is okay. If you want, you could rewrite it and bring that negative out in front. Negative 7 over 2. Those are both the same exact fraction. Okay, so there's my first slope, negative 7 over 2. Now let's find our second slope. First thing I'm going to do is label my points x1, y1, x2, y2. Okay, my slope from line 2 is, start with my second y, 2 minus negative 5. Again, you have to write the negative even though you already wrote the minus. Okay, then my x value is negative 1 minus 1. Be careful, a lot of us accidentally do negative 1 minus 1 and we think that's 0. But negative 1 minus 1 is not 0. Put it in your calculator and see. 2 minus a negative 5 is really 2 plus 5, so that's 7. Negative 1 minus 1 is really 2, negative 2. Okay? Negative 1 minus 1 is negative 2. The negative we don't want to leave down there in the denominator, so we can bring it out in front. 7 over 2. 2 with the negative out in front, or you could move it up to the top. There's my two slopes. So, if they're parallel, they're equal. Let's see. Negative 7 halves and negative 7 halves. Oh, yeah, they're both exactly the same, right? They're both negative 7 halves. So, this is parallel. The symbol for parallel just looks like that. Okay, sometimes they'll be straight up and down exactly. Sometimes they're tilted like this. You'll see them both ways. These are parallel. Okay, so maybe the last one's oblique, but I don't want to trust that because I know it's tempting to just immediately go, oh, the last one has to be oblique. But sometimes your teacher is tricky like that and they're not going to give you all three because they want to make sure you're really checking them out. Okay, so let's do it just to make sure. X1, Y1, X2, Y2, slope 1. Start with your second Y, 3 minus 1. Then your x is 9 minus 6. 3 minus 1 is 2. 9 minus 6 is 3. 2 over 3 does not reduce. That is my first slope. Easy peasy. Okay. Then let's go to the next one. Label my points for line 2. x1, y1. x2, y2. Slope of line 2 equals, start with my second y, negative 1 minus 8. Then my x2, negative 2 minus 4. Negative 1 minus 8 is 9, negative 9. 
Negative 2 minus 4 is negative 6. Negative over negative is a positive. 9 over 6, they're both divisible by 3. 3 goes into 9 3 times. 3 goes into 6 2 times. Remember, negative or negative, positive. Cancels to a positive, so it's positive 3 over 2. All right, if these two lines are parallel, then they are the same. 2 over 3, 3 over 2, those are not the same, right? Not the same number. This one is... 0.6 repeating, and this one is 1.5 if you change them to decimals. Not the same numbers, okay? So they're not parallel. If they're perpendicular, they'll have opposite signs and they'll be flipped over. These are flipped over, 2 over 3, 3 over 2, but they're not opposite, right? They're both positive. So since they're not opposite, they're only flipped over, I can't say they're perpendicular. These are, and there's no fancy symbol for it, you just have to write it out, these are oblique. Okay. One other th thing that this um, that didn't come up in these notes are opposite reciprocals of whole numbers. So just as a kind of a little note, I'm going to put in the back top of these notes. Kind of a little note to keep in mind. If you ever have a slope of let's say like five, okay, the perpendicular slope, the parallel slope, would just be five, right? Your perpendicular slope would be, since this one's positive, it would be negative. And then think about how you're going to flip over 5, right? There's only the one number. But remember, that's really 5 over 1. So when we flip it over, it becomes 1 over 5. So your perpendicular slope would be, that green is kind of hard to see, sorry. Okay? So when you have a whole number... Your parallel slope is still just that whole number. Your perpendicular slope is going to be 1 over that whole number, and then it's going to change the sign. Okay? All right, so hopefully that was helpful in using your slopes to determine if lines are parallel, perpendicular, or our new vocabulary word, oblique. Thank you so much for watching.